day she died, we were on the bridge in the park. It was our favourite place to be. We had been drifting lately, so we decided to spend some time together. She was late as normal, and I was getting angry, so I kept messaging her. She turned up eventually, and I was so annoyed, but I took one look at her, and I knew she wasn't well enough to be out. We stayed for a while, and then she collapsed. If I hadn't have forced her to come out, she might still be here today. It was all my fault. memories. Actually, it's of these two mugs that we had. By accident, we'd each bought each other one last Christmas, which we found hilarious and couldn't stop laughing all day. They were gigantic and would take us forever to finish. I don't know how it started, but whenever one of us was going through a hard time, we'd get out the mugs and just talk. It soon became a thing we did. That's how she told me she was ill, over a gigantic cup of tea. I don't think we've used the mug since. No one tells you about the emptiness you'd feel once they're gone. Once they've just disappeared from your life. I feel empty most days. But when I'm standing on the bridge, it feels like she's still with me. Which I know sounds silly, but she was my person. She was the one I told everything to. I miss her. Missing her doesn't bring her back though, so... Every night I say, I love you, Georgia. I love you, G. I love you, my crazy little sister. I love you to the stars and back. Mm -hmm.